Hey, did Tim call while I was out? No, he didn't. Why? Well, he told me he had an idea he wanted to run by me, so uh, I figured he might have called. What? What's the idea? Uh, well, he's actually thinking about writing a book about uh, the time he spent on the road with the Grateful Dead. Oh, that'd be a great topic for a book. You know, whenever you speak to me about the Grateful Dead, I'm all ears. Yeah, I mean, I when I look back on the years I spent following them around, jeez, I I followed them all over the place. But I mean, that was some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. I think. I can imagine. I mean, you know, first off, you know, they're my favorite band. Right. And uh, second, the other thing that really drew me to the scene was the fact that there was just this traveling uh, group of people that followed them everywhere. It was like almost like a bazaar, sort mm-hmm. of, you know? Mm-hmm. And, well, it's definitely a subculture of America. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people even called it a cult, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And uh, it was so unique at the time, uh, you know, because there really wasn't anything else like it. I mean, you had all these hippies driving around, following the band from city to city. And, uh, you know, when you're on the road driving from one place to the next, you'd see the same people. You'd see the same cars, all these VW buses drive in. And, um, you know, uh, people supported themselves uh by uh, selling things in the parking lots at the concerts. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people would, like, make jewelry and sell it. A lot of people would sell uh, clothes that they made. Um, another uh, favorite amongst people was to uh, just uh, sell beer or to uh, make food. And that's what I actually did a lot of the times. I'd make sandwiches or I'd sell beer in order to help, you know, defray the cost of the tickets. Uh Uh-huh. Because it could get a little expensive, you know. Right. But, you know, the other strange thing is that you'd have this, like, large circus traveling, essentially, following the band. And it was all these, like, hippies. People with, like, really long hair and beards and, like, you know, really... Sometimes, like, people who hadn't, like, showered for days because they were just traveling with, you know, around yeah. following the band. Yeah. Because, you know, especially uh, during the summer, you'd just stay at campgrounds, you know? So you'd camp, and they might not have a shower, you know? Right. I remember, like, so many times washing my hair, like, under a, you know, a, a faucet in a sink of a bathroom or, you know, under a hose somewhere. <laughs> And having someone help me because, you know, I had the long hair. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, you know, the other thing is you'd travel around and sometimes be driving through these really small conservative towns. And you could just imagine what it must have been like from their standpoint. I mean, they see these people who don't look anything like them. I mean, right. they're all clean cut looking, these people who live in this town. And then you have this pack of like, looks like bohemian gypsies traveling uh-huh. through town yeah you that's know a good description so you know a lot of the times the uh the cops in the town would hassle you you know oh, for sure. no good reason you know yeah i think that they would just suddenly jump to conclusions about you know what you were doing because you looked different than them you know they were totally like judging the book by its cover right so um yeah but oh my gosh you know when i look back on those times I just met so many people. I mean, sometimes I would meet somebody in, like, say, the middle of the country, like Kansas, right? Uh Uh-huh. And then, like, a year or two later, I'd be, say, in Seattle, and I'd run into the same people, the same person. Oh, my God. It's such a small world, huh? Yeah, I know. But that was another great thing. Like, I met so many people and became such good friends with so many of those people. Some of these people are, like, my closest friends to this day, like Tim. You know? Yeah. So it was really something that uh, it was like a community. You know. I was gonna say too. I'm, it's a very. It sounds like it was a very bonding experience. Oh yeah, totally. Like it's funny if you're a, a deadhead and you meet another deadhead, it's like there's this like uh, almost uh, hidden language that you speak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. And you know the. The, the fans were such rabid fans. I mean, you know, a lot of deadheads, the only music they would listen to was the music of the Grateful Dead. Wow. 
I could see why people would think that was a bit cultish. Yeah, totally. Well, do you think that um, Tim will actually follow through with writing this book? <laughs> I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. You know, he can be a flake sometimes. Yeah, I know.